Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about subinvolution. So subinvolution, one moment here. So subinvolution occurs when the uterus fails to contract back to its normal size. It usually occurs between one to two weeks after childbirth. And usually the number one cause is a fragment of the placenta is usually still inside. And that's what this is an, act, an ultrasound of. Other causes are endometriosis, prolonged labor, or a C-section. So assessment. I need to assess for uterine pain while, pal while palpating. Um, the uterus is larger than expected for that time in progress and more um, than normal bleeding from the vagina and the lochia fails to change from rubia to serosa to the albule. So what do I do as a nurse for this? I take their vital signs. I assess the uterus and their fungus. I do a pain assessment along with the vaginal bleeding. I elevate their legs to promote venous return. And I encourage the client to go to the bathroom and void frequently. I definitely monitor that hemoglobin and hematocrit. And I prepare to administer this medication. If you're following me on Facebook, there is a question um, about this, what med you give, and this is it. It is contraindicated in, with patients with hypertension. You need to prepare to the client um, to go to surgery to remove that placental fragment and ensure that they have that informed consent. Remember, informed consent is always done whenever we're going to do an invasive procedure. So the NCLEX question for this week is, the main causes to subinvolution of the uterus are, and it's a select all that apply. I'll give you a few minutes, but the answers are multiple deliveries, endometriosis, um, multiple birth, retained placental tissue, prolonged labor, and a C-section. Okay, so the correct answers are endometriosis, retained placental tissue, prolonged labor, and a C-section. So the next NCLEX question is symptoms of subinvolution of the uterus are uterine pain, small amount of vaginal bleeding, uterus smaller than expected, and contractions three minutes apart. Give you a minute. And the answer is uterine pain. I hope this has helped you in your learning about subinvolution. And at any time you need help, or you want to contact me, my email is summer at 101nplextutoring.com. And I hope you've had a good time learning today. See you soon. Bye-bye.